Inner Harbor Navigation Canal project is the largest design build civil works project in the history of the Corps of Engineers. Uh, design build traditionally within the Corps has been used for military construction, but uh, really not on this scale for civil works. When major elements are, are completed in design, you can start construction without having the entire project designed. This project protects most of New Orleans East, the Gentilly area to the west, the Upper Ninth Ward, the French Quarter, the uh, Lower Ninth Ward, and also parts of St. Bernard. This particular area has been considered uh, and called the Achilles heel of the overall system. And it's primarily because it is at the doorstep of the Gulf, which feeds into Lake Bourne and into this area, so it, it gets hit the hardest. The existing system of protection consists of levees and flood walls. The levees and flood walls start at the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal lock at the Mississippi River, runs north to Lake Pontchartrain, and also runs along the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, the GIWW, west to east, that ties into the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal. The storm surge comes from the Gulf through Lake Bourne and into the GIWW and then funnels into the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal. And then storm surge also enters the IHNC, Inner Harbor Navigation Canal, from the north from Lake Pontchartrain. The uh, Inner Harbor Navigation Canal project consists of two main features. There's a barrier feature that ties into the MRGO Hurricane Protection Levy just south of the existing Bayou B Avenue floodgate. It runs northeast and ties into the existing Gulf and Coastal Waterway Levy System just east of the Michoud Canal. The project also consists of a sector gate built on the IHNC northern end where it ties into Lake Pontchartrain. So the project, in effect, takes the place of an existing 30 miles of levees and flood walls that is the primary line of protection. I'm very excited to be on this project. I've been on the project over two years now and uh, it's a very challenging, very re rewarding project. The primary level of protection will be a barrier wall and it's built with 66-inch uh, concrete spun cast piles which is what you see here. These will also have uh, steel reinforced concrete inside of them. They weigh 92 tons each and we're going to put approximately 1,400 of these in the ground. There's a small square pile, approximately 60 feet long, that we put in to uh, seal the seam. There's going to be 36 inch steel batter piles on the back side, approximately 200 feet long. They're driven in at a 45 degree angle. And then we come in after that and we put a precast concrete cap on the top. These weigh about 96 tons and then they form and pour the spaces in between each precast section. What you see here is what will be in place by the 2009 hurricane season. Uh, we're calling this advanced measures. It will be up to elevation 20 feet. To complete the 100 year level of protection, we'll put an additional wall section on the front here. The top of the wall kind of looks like a castle. So there's a 26 foot section and a 24 foot section and they alternate. It minimizes the amount of overtopping over the wall. Most of the two miles will be made up of this pile supported wall. And then we have three gates in the barrier, one at Bayou B Avenue, which is a small sector gate, uh, 56 foot wide by eight foot deep uh, gate, basically for commercial shrimpers and recreational boaters that are out in the marsh and uh, accessing Lake Bourne. And then on the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, we're gonna have two separate gates, a sector gate and a barge gate. Both of them have the same dimensions, 150 feet wide by 16 feet deep. The overall project goal to build 100 year level of protection will be done by 2011. Precast concrete sections have been done before, you know, all these piles have been made before. It's just putting them in combination and in the uh, arrangement that we're doing it is, is very innovative. The whole project will be built from the water. All the equipment will be floating. Uh, we'll have over 50 barges and pieces of equipment floating at any one time and moving around the project. We'll have several uh, faces of the wall being built at the same time. So we'll have a lot of contractors, a lot of work going on in this area on the water, and it could be 24-7. So it will be like a big assembly line, and we'll have up to four of those assembly lines working at one time, uh, going from north to south and south to north on either end. Being that this is the largest design build civil works project uh, in the history of the Corps, uh, it is almost $700 million. 
Our prime contractor is a local Louisiana company, a Fortune 500 company, Shaw Environmental and Infrastructure, and they are employing mostly local subcontractors. We're using local boat operators and barge, rental. We could have hundreds of skilled workers on this project working at one time. So we are pumping a lot of money into the local economy as well as the overall economy of Louisiana. We have several partners and stakeholders on this. Public safety is our number one goal. Uh, we also have two other goals being navigation safety because we are on a navigable waterway and the other one is environmental compliance because we are in a sensitive area uh, encompassing wetlands. There's uh, lots of fish and wildlife in the area. There's a couple endangered species, including the sturgeon and a manatee. So we have those three goals in mind when we're building and designing the structure. I'm a native New Orleanian, born and raised in New Orleans, and uh, I've worked for the Corps of Engineers for 37 years. Uh, take pride in my job, just as the rest of my co-workers do, and uh, we take it personal in the things that we're doing. Katrina has sh visually and graphically showed us what can happen if you get a storm that, of that magnitude. There's no way of giving you total protection. This system will bring the level of protection in, uh, up to the 100-year level, and it will significantly reduce the risk.